show you how I do my eyebrows. First you need a spool, which is something like this. Or you can also use something like this, and that's for shaping the brows first before you begin. And then you also need, um, this is for eyeliner, an eyeliner brush, but this is what I use um, for filling in the brows. And then you also need a concealer brush, um, and that is for when I'm defining the brows. And the two products that I use are my MAC um, eyeshadow in Embark, this one, and also my matte concealer the studio finish concealer any concealer you have or any dark brown and any dark brown um eyeshadow you have will do just fine for this so first thing i do is i <laughs> will brush out my brows to get it ready for shaping basically have it shaped somehow in the direction that i want um my eyebrows to look fix it up like that and then I take the eyeliner brush use the eyeshadow I don't mind me if I'm looking at the um I'm not looking at the camera because I'm looking at the mirror because I actually need to see it so I start at the bottom of the brow I just got my eyebrows done recently so it really helps in shaping because I don't have to do much to it. I take some more and I just fill it in. And the ends of my brows, you can tell they're very um, thin, so that's where I need to fill in most. I really don't like to use um, liner because I feel it's pretty harsh. It looks very harsh. I prefer eyeshadow because it makes it look more natural and soft. I just keep filling it in, take some more, and get the ends as dark as possible. You want the ends of your brow to be darker than the inner corner of your eyebrows because it looks more natural that way. And with filling in your brows, you could always change the shape of your eyebrows. Sorry, it got dark. But I really don't feel like doing it right now. I like the current shape I'm working with. So maybe later on when my brows start to fill in, I'll change the shape. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the other brow. The key is to look at your eyebrows when they're not filled in and note where you would like it to be filled and note the, um, the shape that you would like it to have and then go from there. Just even if there's no hair there, like how there's no hair up here, I'm filling it in because that's the shape that I want it to have. I want it to look like there's hair there. So I fill that in, you see? Just like that. And I'm gonna keep going. And as you go down towards the um the end, I don't know what to call this, the end of your brows where there's less hair, make sure your strokes are more um sparse. You don't want it to be too harsh. And notice how I'm extending the brow. And always make sure that your brow is lined up 
with the end of your eye going like this. You don't want the um, eyebrow to extend farther because then I'll just, you'll look crazy. So I'm just going to um, fill that in. And one thing that I do is I take the brush, how it's like this, I lay it flat. Flat. I hope you can see this. I lay it flat on the eyeshadow and then I put some on it. So now it's on the side and then I just kind of press it into the ends to get more color. You see? Take it and press. Even though it doesn't look shapely right now, um, we can, we'll fix that later. Actually, we'll fix that in a moment. So this is basically the shape I want, but as you can see, it doesn't look really perfect. It kind of looks a little bit crazy, like it looks like you filled it in, or it looks like I filled it in. So then I'm going to take the concealer now to define the brow, to shape it more. I make sure you have a piece of like a napkin or something in hand because that's where I'll rub off the excess concealer. So we take a little bit. Sorry. And then you put it right underneath. And notice that I extended it here because I'm going to fill that part in with more um, of the eyeshadow because that's how I want it to look. And I go right underneath the brows to get the exact shape that I want. And I go to the top and do the exact same thing. Sorry. I don't want it to be too dark. I'm really trying to work with the light behind me. like that and after you shape it that's when you can always go back and fill in more if you need to like that And I'll fill the other brow in. Exact same thing. As you're using the concealer, this is where you can shape the um shape your eyebrows to the way you want it like if you want it a different shape you know you can always um remove more or less what the concealer does is that it removes um the excess eyeshadow it removes it and leaves a shape leaves a certain shape that you um want Okay. If you with it, you can always make it thinner. Like if you want your eyebrows to look smaller, just take out more. Like that. And I'm going to go back with this and fill this in down to in the center. Just fill it in very sparsely. <clears throat> I'm 
and do the same for here. Like it looks more natural this way. What do you think? And now I take that napkin and rub off the excess concealer. And now I'm going to blend out the harsh line that the concealer left using the same brush. And rub that off and go back. You want to be careful as you're doing this because if you're too close, you can um, rub off. You can actually rub off like the, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> rub off the eyebrows or the shape that you did. You can mess it up. That's what I'm trying to say. You can mess up the shape. So just be very careful as you're doing this stuff. And this step is crucial because you don't want to have the concealer marks. You don't want to be walking around with concealer marks all over your um, face. And people can tell that while you filled in your eyebrows, you know. And the last thing, the last tool you need that I forgot to tell you is you need a, um, a fluffy blending brush. And that's what I'm going to use to finally clean up the mess. And that's basically it. Yeah, so here's the finished look. My camera's about to die, but please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it helps you, and I hope you apply it as you um, do your makeup routine. Thank you for watching. Bye.